Hi everyone and welcome back to Techie and She. Today in this video on my channel, we are going to see how you can install Tableau Public and also how you can set up a free account using the same. Now, if you are a beginner in Tableau and want a software to learn Tableau, then Tableau Public is the best thing that you can install and learn Tableau. The actual Tableau desktop software is pricey and is only active for 14 days as a trial basis. So if you are a beginner and are looking to have something for free, then Tableau Public does definitely make sense. Let's see what we will cover in this video today. We will see first how you can install Tableau Public software. Next, we will see how you can start your free trial account. And finally, we will also see how you can continue using this software completely for free and actually explore Tableau. In this video, I will also give you a quick glimpse of how you can set up a quick sheet in Tableau. And then we will look at some of the next steps and the goals that you can have while you're learning and discovering this amazing software. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. Let me begin by first looking at and searching for Tableau public software download on Google. When you do that, you will not be navigated to the download, but actually to the Tableau public website. Now here you will need to go to the website itself in order to download this software. Under the top menu, you can see two options to learn where you will see some videos and some data. And under create, you will see the download Tableau desktop public edition. This is what you need to click in order to download. Now the software doesn't download by itself. They actually collect some data from you like uh, your name, your email address, your role and the country. So these are some information that the public website would like to capture from you when you go ahead and download the Tableau public. So just go ahead and put in some of your details over here and choose the respective things and click on download the app. Now you need to make sure that you don't have pop-ups blocked, otherwise it will not automatically download. So I will just allow the pop-ups. As you can see here in this green dialog box on top, it is asking me which version do I want. Do I need it for Mac or for Windows? If you are using Windows, it's straightforward. However, if you have Mac, then you need to check in your about Mac from the Apple icon which Mac you are using. If you are using something like me which has the Apple M1 Pro then you will need to download the silicon uh, the Apple silicon Mac version. Right? Once the download is complete you will be actually uh, looking at the software DMG file but while we do that you know let's utilize the time while the download is happening in the background to see some different data sources that it has some great videos and community resources that Tableau actually offers. These are really amazing uh, sample data sources that can be used in order to build good dashboards. You can always explore them by just going and clicking on the data set option on the rightmost corner next to the line where the data source is mentioned. So again, this is amazing to see how Tableau Public offers you the same capabilities as Tableau itself and you can use it in order to learn Tableau. As you can see, now my download is almost about to complete. So once it's downloaded, I can just go ahead and open the download.dmg file which will help me install the software. So I'm just going to open this file over here and begin with the installation process. Once I click on the .pkg over here for Tableau Public, it will start installing this software. I just need to follow the prompts, continue and agree some of their agreements. And this way the whole uh, installation will start and the Tableau Public will be installing in the background. So as I already mentioned, right, it is really powerful to use a software like this and installing it can always help you, right? So just go ahead and install and click on OK. This will install the software for you. You can search for it and then open. So as you can open the Tableau public software, this will launch the app. 
now this app by default only connects to some of the data sources it doesn't open up to a lot of other data sources that you can connect to using a tableau desktop right so here i can connect to an excel or a text file but i need to make sure that i'm signing in into the software first so as you can see i'll just click on signed in and i'm providing my details in here once i'm signing in to the site i can select some of my previously published dashboards and open them here in the same app as well so let's just go ahead and open it and you can see my a uh, very famous dynamic zone visibility uh, video is here the date the dashboard that i had created for that video is here and i can just simply use it i can also like add in more data so so if i want to connect to a text file i can just select one and use the same in a similar way i can further build any kinds of sheets and dashboards as i would like to so let's just see if i can quickly build something so if i pull in country and the respondent's id and convert this to account distinct i can also build a quick map from this particular data set right so you can like play around you can change the colors you can do anything that you would want to using this particular data source it's really really powerful it's the same as tableau desktop right you have all the same features from formatting to analysis to the actions parameters everything works in the same way as your tableau desktop does right once you're done you're creating your dashboard you can save it to the tableau public website or even save it locally there's some more use case that we can discuss here right so let's just go ahead and see if what kinds of dashboards can you create right so i'm just pulling in category over here along with that i will pull in profit and as you can see i have a bar chart over here which is simple enough i can add in the state into the colors and see the dashboard updating and pull up a map quickly for the same and have a pie chart so this is how powerful tableau software is with just minor uh, updates you can like create great visuals so now that you know how to actually install this amazing software let's look at some of the next step and first week goals that you can set for yourself i usually recommend people to start using tableau as soon as they install the tableau public from day 1 to day 3 you can just go ahead and explore some of the great learning videos that tableau public has on its own websites for beginners for week 1 you can start with hands on using the data sources from the tableau public and start creating your own dashboards or try to replicate dashboards that are already available on their website for month 1 My recommendation would be that you start publishing the dashboards to the Tableau public website and also start participating in some of the Tableau community event that way you will be able to bond with the community and know what's happening in the same area With this I think you should be all set on your Tableau career Tableau is one of the greatest visualization tools that's ever built and I hope you enjoy your whole journey using Tableau Tableau Public just offers this amazing tool to you for free so just don't forget to explore it to the core I hope you like this video and will keep coming up to Techie and She for more such amazing videos in future thank you and I look forward to working with you and growing together